What's up guys, it's Mitch with SC Weather. Hope y'all have been having a good day. It's been a stormy evening. Finally got some rain at my house. Uh, it had been pretty dry for the last 10 days, so we got a nice beneficial amount of rain. So, but uh, this video is gonna be a little different. What I wanna talk about in this video is the dust that everybody is talking about. And uh, it's kind of starting to add to the, oh, uh, it's 2020 kind of deal um, where, um, you know, I, I guess there's a playful amount of panic about it, uh, but there's nothing to panic about. In fact, it's very interesting what is going to occur here, even in the Carolinas, with this dust that uh, is going to affect us later this weekend. So I'm going to jump right into it. So basically, what we have going on here is... In Northern Africa, you have the Sahara Desert. I think most people know what the Sahara Desert is or where it's at and things like that. Um, you have a plume of dust that is going to be riding anywhere between five to 15,000 feet in the atmosphere, high enough up to where it doesn't really affect us at the surface at all. It's going to be riding across the Atlantic Ocean, pretty much putting an end to anything in the tropics for a, a, a amount of time, how long this dust is going to be around. Uh, because the air is so dry, hurricanes and tropical activity do not like dry air. So uh, do not have to worry about tropical activity for probably the next one to two weeks, I would imagine. So so this dust is going to continue, and it's, it's already basically in parts of the Gulf of the Mexico. If you check out places, uh, there's images, and I don't have them with me, but I do have a satellite image here, here that I'm going to show put up right here, and it basically just shows the dust even from space and the Atlantic Ocean, which is really impressive. I mean, it, it looks pretty much like dust of sand uh, in the upper atmosphere. So um, so basically, um, what's going to happen is it's, it's already affecting places like Jamaica. There's some images out of Jamaica where it looks like it's a freaking desert, except there isn't sand everywhere. Um, so it's crazy what's going to happen, um, but it's nothing to panic about. I do not think anybody's going to struggle breathing or anything. Uh, or anything like that, but let's just jump right into where it is and where it's going to, to move and flow and things like that. So right now, uh, this is for tomorrow, um, and I think visually it's kind of self-explanatory. The brightest yellows are kind of where the thickest dust is in the atmosphere, uh, where it kind of dims down to maybe the purples, the pinks, and the bluish is, is it gets less and less dense as far as dust. So south of Cuba, a lot of dust right now. We flip into, what is the 25th, today's the 23rd, so this is Thursday. That dust begins to lift north into the Gulf of Mexico, affecting coastal areas of the Gulf already. Maybe not too much yet, but it starts to affect them. Um, it starts to get deeper as we get into Friday into the coastal areas um, of the Gulf of Mexico, not, not our coast, but places like uh, Houston, uh, New Orleans, uh, Mobile, things like that, the coastal areas of Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama could really start to um, see the visual effects of this dust. It's going to look really hazy, uh, awesome sunsets, very visually and beautiful sunsets, I think, um, are going to occur with this. And uh, it's just, uh, it's going to keep moving and it's just going to barge right into the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, into the Gulf states, into the deep south, and, and then it's going to really kind of sit there in the Tennessee area, Alabama, Mississippi area, and it's going to get kind of dragged east from uh, just weather dynamics. That's where the normal weather flow moves as far as cold fronts and things. So it's going to get re-pushed back east into the Carolinas. And uh, as we get into Sunday, this is Sunday, here in South Carolina, we will visually really begin to see the dust in the atmosphere. It will look hazy. Um, it uh, probably lower um, visibility, I would say, if for long long distances. Uh, the air quality would be a little lower, but it's nothing that um, compared to like air quality as far as bad pollution. It's nothing like that. Um, but Sunday into Monday, and this is Monday, is really when, especially, uh, this looks to really be the, the the most. I guess you could say the densest. Uh, the thickest uh, dry, uh, dust is really going to be over North Carolina uh, as opposed to South Carolina. But as we get into Monday into Tuesday, it really we really see it, guys. And this is Tuesday, so 
this is going to affect us. The models have been consistent of the placement and how it's going to kind of ride through the Gulf and kind of head back east to the Carolinas. Nothing to worry about. Uh, you know, everybody wants to say 2020 uh, crazy things are happening. And this is really rare. I wouldn't say it's crazy, though. And it's nothing dangerous. But visually, the sunsets are going to be beautiful. And it's just going to be a cool phenomenon to deal with. And we're going to uh, get to experience, I wouldn't say history, but it definitely will be... Uh, an element of the weather that you'll physically be able to see. And uh, you're looking up in the sky right now, blue skies. It'll be a little different later this weekend. So I want to give you all an update on that because there's no reason to panic over this. Uh, I don't think anybody really is panicking. I think it's like a playful panic. But uh, is this going to be something cool to check out? And um, that's about all, I, about all I got. I do want to mention tomorrow there's a chance for severe storms. And I'll get, probably make a video on that tomorrow. But I ask that you all subscribe. Uh, continue to support me. I appreciate it so much. And uh, that's all I got. You all have a blessed evening.